There have been many ways proposed to copy files to and from your Steam Deck. Most of them require installing third-party software like Warpinator on both machines. And some, like my solution from a few months back, were a little overcomplicated, if I'm being honest. But none of them are as dead simple and not to mention natively supported as KDE Connect. And you might be wondering what KDE Connect even is. Well, it's a device management software tool created by the KDE team. KDE is the organization behind the Steam Deck's desktop mode, and Connect allows you to do a huge number of awesome things. Now, truthfully, I've been using KDE Connect for many years to manage my smartphone from my PC. For example, I can answer text messages. I can control my PC's media playback from my phone. I can use my PC's keyboard and mouse as inputs on my phone. I can share a clipboard between devices, share files between them, and a lot more. And that's what KDE Connect was originally designed for, doing all these things. But you can do much more than that, too. You can manage a computer or any other device that supports the application. There's a whole host of systems that can run it, too. Install KDE Connect on a Raspberry Pi or a Sailfish OS device, or on any Linux system running GNOME, you can use GS Connect, which is the GNOME flavor of KDE Connect. Now, crucially, there's also a Windows client, which is what I imagine most of you will be using. So I'll show you how to set that up in this video. The Windows client works the same as every other version, and you can use it to share files with your Steam Deck. But before we get to the tutorial, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Micro Center. Micro Center is one of the largest consumer electronics retailers in the U.S. With over 30,000 products in stock, there's something new for everyone. Students, IT managers, and gamers alike trust Micro Center for their computer and electronic needs. I've got to ask, though, what good is having an amazing computer if you don't have a great monitor to go with it? Thankfully, Micro Center has gone mad all through March with their Monitor Madness promotion. Check the link in my description to check out the great deals. Whether you're an experienced PC builder or a first-time shopper, Micro Center is there to help you with their knowledgeable staff and wide variety of PC parts to fit your build and budget. And if you want the freedom of customization, but don't want the hassle of putting your PC together yourself, you can have one of Micro Center's trained associates do the hard work for you. For a fee, they will assemble your build and send it out the door. Use Micro Center's PC Builder to put together your wish list and make it a reality this month. Thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. And now, back to it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is install KDE Connect on your PC. This is as simple as using the link and downloading the version that's right for your system. Once you have it installed, launch it. Next, go ahead and put your Steam Deck into desktop mode. To do so, hold down the power button and select Switch to Desktop. Once you're at your desktop, click the Start button, for lack of a better term, and then select Internet and KDE Connect. You should now see your PC's name on the Steam Deck and your Steam Deck on your PC. And if you don't, ensure that both machines are connected to the same network. When both machines can see each other, click Pair on one of them. You should instantly see a notification that the other one wants to connect. Once you accept the pairing request, you should now be able to send files back and forth. In Windows, you can either use the KDE Connect window to select a file, or alternatively, from File Explorer, you can right-click on a file, and then go to Share To, Send to Remote Device via KDE Connect. Once the file is received, it will be in the Downloads folder of the device receiving it. And that's really it! You can now transfer files either direction, and the best thing is that it only takes three major steps to set up. Just download and install KDE Connect on your PC, and then open it on both machines, and pair the two devices. So, what do you think? Do you find this video useful? Why not smash that like button? When you do, you'll be well on your way to seeing more videos just like this. You can also subscribe to stay up to date with all the awesome stuff we're doing here on the channel. And I want to shout out Systrom, one of my top tier YouTube members. It's because of people like Systrom that I'm able to keep the lights on here and drink enough coffee to make videos like this for you guys. If you believe in the work that I'm doing, you can buy me a coffee using the links below. By becoming a YouTube member, a patron, or a ViewSync Premium subscriber, you can get your name listed over here. It's because of the folks that you're seeing on screen that I'm able to continue making videos like these. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time here with me today, and I'll catch you guys next time.